Right. Okay. We have already known how to measure BOD. Okay. T here is temperature. And this t, small t is days. And then how is it related to the ultimate BOD? Okay. It is related with times 1 minus 10 to the power minus kT. And t also refer to days. And this k is actually the constant, reaction rate constant. And we know that the rate, reaction rate constant needs to be find out needs to be found out from the experiment. So you need to find out BOD1, BOD2, BOD3, BOD4, at least to get data. So that after you got all this BOD data for day one, day two, day three, day four, you can you will be able to get these values. And then you will plot these values against time. So you hopefully that you will get a straight line and obtain your gradient and also the intercepts. Okay. And then K is actually 2.61 times B divided by A. So that is our K. Okay, sometimes DBOD can be expressed using big K like that. Sometimes it can be expressed using small K. Okay, and this one is base E, not base 10. Okay, base E. Natural law. Okay, base E. So how is it? Big K okay, related to the small K. So big K is equal to small K divided by 2.3. Right. There's something else that you need to know. Yes. Okay. So what do we mean to have have high K? Okay, so either small K or uh, big K. If you have high K, that means your organic compound is easily being bio biodegraded. But if you have low K, that means your organic compound is difficult to be biodegraded. So this is how the values looks like. If you have tap water, let's say your tap water have contain organic. Okay. We don't want it to contain organic, but let's say contain organic is probably very small. Okay. The K value will be 0 0.04. But if you have surface water like river, okay, so the K value probably is around 0 0.04 to 0 0.1 but for raw sewage okay for water from toilets for instance so the k is high okay it's still 0 0.15 to 0 0.3 but well treated sewage so it contains less organic so again the value is also small so now we would like to look at the relationship between k at one temperature with k at 20 degrees celsius so how are they related? Okay, let's say you are doing experiment just now, the BOD experiment, you put it into incubator at temperature 30. So how is it that value of K at temperature 30 related to K at temperature 20? K at temperature 30 is equivalent to K20 times 1.047 to the power of T minus 20. So if our, our T is 30, that means 30 minus 20. So 1.047 to the power of 10. So that is how a relationship between one K at certain temperature to another K at temperature 20. And then we would like to see the relationship between the ultimate BOD between one temperature to another temperature. Okay, which is that? So this is ultimate BOD at let's say 30 degrees Celsius. So how is it related to the ultimate BOD at 20 degrees Celsius? So this is the formula. What times 1 plus 0 0.023 set a T minus 20. So this is another formula. Okay, guys, I think uh, all this formula will be handy once we try to do some, to solve some calculation uh, exercises.